by z prime factor prime factor into prime factors is divisible divisible by any one the number is large digit number is 8 so it is divisible by 2 so second rule then how many times is divisible by then 14 then 2 to the 4 4 to the 8 2 to the 4 4 to the 8 24 time divisible by 14 then again next is last digit number is 2 so again divisible by 2 then how many times i consider the first digit number is 1 to the 2 finish and then second second number is the 4 2 to the 2 that is 12 times divisible by 24 using the second thing and next again divisible by 2 why because the last digit number is divisible 2 so this also divisible by 2 then how many times 6 to the 12 then again divisible by 2 then how many times 3 times how many times 3 to the 6 and 3 is the prime number is it so is divisible by only itself so 3 only itself 1 3 is a finish next 39 next number is 39 Is divisible by any one of the numbers. See last digit number. So divisible by last digit number is divisible by two. It is not possible. Why? This is the number is nine. So zero, two, four, six, eight. This is also the divisible by the two numbers. And then next three. Next number is three. Is it then by three? Rules is sum of the digits is divisible by sum of the digit first digit is three plus second digit plus nine which is equal to nine plus one ten eleven twelve so divisible by twelve three then three divided four three is are twelve so sum of the digit is divisible by three so this is also divisible by three then how many times first of all I consider the first value only then one three is are Next day, three three is a nine. See, thirteen is the prime number. Thirteen is the prime number. So thirteen is divisible by only thirteen itself only. So thirteen divisible by thirteen divisible by thirteen one. So one thirteen is a thirteen. Then this is the prime factors of this number. The first number is factorized value. Factorized value. The first is that is the forty-eight. That is forty-eight, which is equal to how many factors? Then four times two. Four times two. Four times two. One, two, three, four. Four times two. And three times. And three one time. And three one time. And then next is thirty-nine. Next thirty-nine. Then three one time. Three one time. And thirteen one time. See the problem is factorize. Thus the composite numbers in two prime factors. So in the numbers the prime factors in that we have to find out. In the numbers the Prime factors in that. So this is the forty-eight kind of prime factors. Four times two, one time three, and thirty-nine prime factors three, one times thirteen, one time. Next is C problem. Next is C problem. Value is sixty. Value is sixty. Then divisible by then sixty. Is it? Then last digit number is zero, so divisible by two. Then how many times? Thirteen times divisible by sixteen. Three two are six. Zero by five. Then last digit number also zero, so divisible by again two. Then how many times? One two are two. Three minus two remaining one. So consider the second. Ten. Five two are ten. Is it? Yes. Last digit number is five, so it is divisible by five or three. Why three? One first digit number is one, second digit number is five. So one.
plus 5 which is equal to 6 is divisible by 3. This is also divisible by 3. Then I choose the number is 3. Then how many times? 5 3 is 15. 5 is the prime number is it? Yes. Only itself. Itself. Divisible by only itself. That number. And the 60 and then 60 factorized value which is equal to which number? Then 2 2 times. 2 2 times. 3 1 times. And then 5 1 time. 5 1 time. See the result students. Only 5 of this prime factors. In this value is the only prime factors. In the end of the final So prime factors which number is divisible by numbers. That means the final factor. And 39 and C problem that is 6 equal to how many times? In how many times? Then how many factors in this number? See a normal uh, factorizing uh, the prime factors. Prime factorizing method I use for the number corner. How many factors are being in the final Thank you students.